no one talks and it doesn't come from deep within so we're training your inner core with everything we do there's purpose within it and Jumre, you have the kids running clapping stamping but they're learning but in a fun way but medically medically yeah you're training their immune system to be strong but you're doing it in a fun way they will dance and shake their hips because what you do not realize is proven in science it's proven in 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 other um, beliefs you see the chakra points they're down your spinal column yeah and what all they are is the final part of the distillation yeah of the of the best part of life so everything you eat, everything you drink, everything you breathe in and all the sun you take in, distilled to the finest. And that's why it's hidden within your spinal column and your bone. Because it's the best part of life, so it needs to be protected to keep you safe. That's why your spinal column looks so mad. Yeah, but there are release points. When it has distilled the goodness, it needs to release it back into you, into your whole body. There are release points. These release points, yeah, listen, you can't just sit there and for them to be released. You need your heart to beat and create pressures. These pressures are sent all over. You need your body, your hips to move. Yeah, that's why all African dancers are so vigorous. You're moving because you're, you're trying to um, awaken life inside you to pump more. To pump more. And Jum Mre, four hours. The fifth part is called Anajo. Anajo, my people again, they say it so fast they forget. Ano means mouth. Jo means cool. Jo means peaceful. Jo means calm. So Ano Jo, Ano Jo means mouth cool. Mouth peace. Mouth calm. Why? From Njumre, the kids have been singing, shouting, clapping, four hours of fun, but teaching. But it doesn't stop, it carries on. But get this, mouth cool. This is the time the fire comes on. Yeah, it's between five, um, from five going, the fire comes on. They sat under the tree, the fire is on. Everyone's quiet. Ancient wisdom is sat down, the grandma. And the granddad yeah at this time the kids here yeah, um there's um there's porridge called cocoa millets so healthy it's unbelievable there are many varieties of them they're they're fiber and because it's cocoa it's porridge yeah it's already been digested and and filtered to a fine stage and it's light on the stomach because they're soon going to bed and you put a little bit of natural honey yeah, natural honey, because honey helps to get rid of saliva and phlegm from the inside. When you sleep, that's when your body does most of this work. So you have to give your body that which it needs to do this work. So in the cocoa, you put a little bit of natural honey. Yeah, and this, yeah, is the final meal. With a little bit of something nice on the side. Yeah, the kids eat this yeah they listen to stories but this time the stories have been mellowed down the kids are sat down normally this time yeah is the story where they called a futuo a futuo means a story with with hidden messages yeah for the kids to take but it's pumped to them whilst they're young even when they might not yet understand the message but at the end of every story the storyteller will always extract the message out and say meaning that's why when we do this we don't do this so they will encapsulate the whole story for the kid to understand that i haven't just been speaking to you for eight hours for no reason this is why I've been telling you this so keep it in your head but it was done in such a fun way that the kid is now yeah running as if they've been entrusted with a piece of, of, of gold and in an opportunity to tell the story they will tell the story I can testify to that so the story only goes down but it doesn't finish Anna Jo and then the next part which is the sixth part the final part is called Adir Asa. Adir 
Asa. Adia Asa means everything is finished. Everything is finished. It's around 9 o'clock going. By, by 8 o'clock, which is the fifth part, which is the final clock, the kids are gone to bed. 9 o'clock, everything is finished. Mom and dad are normally getting ready to go to bed. Adia Asa. Everything is finished. How does time heal everything? If you follow the system, at Ahumachi, you wake up, you access pillar number one, absolute air, two hours, train, engine number one, the heart, two hours, fill, the Ferrari, the Mustang, with absolute energy, the cleaners, two hours. And then you do a ritual of Anopa, mouth good, clean the mouth, put everything, load your body up with everything, yeah, that will protect you from poisons, everything that would, that would dilute the poisons in your food everything that will balance the sugars in your food everything that will awaken your taste buds everything that will protect you from anything harmful that you may take in anopa mouth good and then after that you activate these things with Iriamre, four hours under the bouncing burner, under the heat, under the natural growth hormone. And then, yeah, you take in all the right supplements, not supplements, sorry, that's the wrong word. I mean, all the right foods which contain the right supplements. And how do you get that? Listen, the secret, yeah, is in the Bible. It says, everything on the face of this planet was created for you, but not everything will suit you. What that means is that, yeah, some things will kill you, some things will hurt you, some things will damage you. But some things are you, therefore they will grow you. This is confirmed by mathematics and science. Why? Science says you are science. You are 20% meaning science and mathematics have put their heads together. You are 20% earth meaning you are not 80% earth meaning you are 80% short of perfection because perfection is 100%. So you see the 80%, that which you are not, it will hurt you if you access it. But it will be okay for someone else because we're, we're not all made from a combination of the same 20%. This is mathematics and science pushed together giving you one argument which is supported by the bible so you give yourself the air you give yourself the earth that protects you you add water because in every chemistry process you need the solid um, item you need the dilution which is the clean water water and then you need oxygen and then you need heat so you put everything you've done on heat to activate it now it's activated now you can add yeah your foods if your foods have um have poisons in there your immune system has all the properties and because you follow a time system 
yeah, of topping up each day. Well, you don't have to eat cola nuts every day. There are different sour things, there are different fiber based things, and you can now regulate your meals. Every Anopa, you say there are seven days in a week. These seven days, I'm gonna have on Monday this, on Tuesday this. This week, I'm gonna have these seven, um, seven fiber based things. So I know I've loaded my body up with them. The next week, I'm gonna have this. I will do this rotation like this. All these available very cheap everywhere in Africa is just because yeah of greed that you you are given lack of access to these things so you've activated them you've added food now the poisons in your food are being neutralized the sugars in your food once you've tasted them and you've enjoyed the sugar when it goes in your belly you don't really need it there you no longer enjoy it so you need it now to be neutralized and not to not to act as it's predicted for sugar to act but you still want the fiber of the fruit you ate or the vegetable you ate to go inside you and everything else just not the sugars you want the sugar for your taste buds once you get that you need to neutralize it inside you so you put all the enzymes inside you that neutralizes sugar inside you so that's being done your fat is being broken down. You understand what I'm saying? You regulate your time. The exercises you do, if you've noticed, they're the only exercise the human needs. Why? Because without a heart, the arm is shit. Listen, the strongest man in the world, yeah, can't be a muscly man. Why? They're too slow. But you know why they're too slow? It's because, get this, they never train their heart as, as strong or as much as they train their arms or their legs or whatever. So actually, 99% of what you see on them is water retention. That's why the bigger you are doesn't make you the strongest in the world. Look at Adesanya, he's knocking them out left right and center they're afraid to attack him why because the strength comes yeah in the delivery the strength comes not in the in in in, in how big you are yeah but in 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 how fast your muscles are how alert your muscles are how strong your muscles are just because your muscles are big don't mean they're strong. Let me tell you something, yeah? I can teach you how to lose weight using this time formula. But you, you first, you have to locate the best way for me to tell you how to heal yourself from coronavirus and anything is to break it down like this. You are 20% earth. You're not 100% earth. Meaning, for example, there are a hundred plantations on this earth that humans have access to eat, that animals have access to eat, that all forms of life have access to eat. But there are only 20 of them that you, 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 you can access. And it varies for me. Some of them I access, you will die. Some of them you access, I will die. So the best form of strengthening your immune system, yeah, and for making you the best of who you are, yeah and turning you into a goku is first for me to locate the exact 20 percent of who you are your dna structure within plantation or the closest match to your dna structure within plantation and then i can say you see these group of plant plantation that's my man over there that's my girl over there and then i'll deliver these plantations to you along with natural water along with clean natural air and put you under the sun and then any disease that comes next to you, including coronavirus, which no church, mosque or Gujarati can stop, yeah, it would leave the temple that Nanenyami built. Because Nanenyami never said that the Gujarati was his temple. He never said that the mosque was his temple. He never said that um, the church was his temple. He said that your body was his temple. So when you cleanse your body, all filth, Lee.
Listen. They say time heals everything. It is true. Time does heal everything. But you have to be on the right time. You have to be on the right time. Listen. The Orara game denotes here that I be given 24 hours, that you have been given 24 hours, that you have been given 6 by 4, that I have been given 6 by 4, that I am not better than you and that you are not better than me, that man is equal, that we are all equal. But the Oara game also holds another secret. The moment we start playing this game, We're playing a game of masters and slaves. Why? Because it is my ability to win your hours. Yeah? That make me your master. Or your ability to win my hours. So for example, it's by the end of this game, you have won my 24 seeds. Or you have won some of my seeds. Or more of my seeds. And I've won less. And we denote that you are the winner. Yeah? That means... That's the amount of time I slave for you. You beat me. You won 18 hours of my time. Therefore, I'm a slave to you for 18 hours. Let me show you the significance of the Oari board as well. There are 12 yeah, holes when you open it. Yeah, six on my side, six on your side. There are 12 zodiac signs. There are 12 months in a year. But understand this, if you divide 354 days in a year by 24, you're going to find yeah, that each seed, which in one case was worth one hour, in the case of time, in the case of the calendar, which is a game to deal with time, because you cannot deal with time without the calendar coming into the equation. So my people dealt with that. So watch this. 354 days in a year divided by, yeah, 12. Yeah. Now you've got six holes in front of me. Yeah. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Watch. Each seed is worth 15 point something days. Why? Because in the first part, yeah, you have January and February. Each seed is worth half a month exactly. It's exactly in calculation with time. Each seed is worth half a month. Two seeds are worth one month. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, um, October, November. This, um, sorry, <laughs> November, December. Yeah. All 12 are represented. Two moms in one. Two zodiac signs in one in front of me. So I've got my 24 hours. I've got my 12 moms. I've got all my zodiac signs represented. So do you. Everything I have, you have. Because we're living under the same space. This is a game of time, but the language that accompanies it is the instruction that tells you what to do with time, how to live side by side with time, because you have to remember, you, 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 you are not the master of time, time is the master of time, and time is everything, so if you don't learn how to live with time properly, then you will find you're always in a mess. This time gives you more. This time gives you more understanding. This time gives you more explanation. This time pertains to who you are. Listen. There are many things that I have to tell the world. And I'm telling you, one of them is that I'm telling you I can cure the coronavirus. And I'll cure all of time. I'll prove that time does heal everything. 
Time does heal all wounds. Listen. I've done many things, yeah. Um, to hurt my parents. But today, yeah, my parents, yeah, they got angry and they said I'm trying to kill them. And I understand what they said. I said something, yeah, that puts my life in danger. And obviously, if I find myself in danger, yeah, then um, it affects them. So they're very angry. But I'm trying to explain to them that it's not that I'm, what I'm doing is wrong. What I'm doing is right. You see me, yeah? Um, they say that, oh, oh, whilst the Chinese and whilst everyone else is putting their kids into school and learning how to become doctors and this and that, Africans, yeah, are teaching their kids, yeah, how to just be, um, how to just be, um, what do you call it, um, preachers and shit. You see me, I hate church. I never went to church. If my parents drive me to church, they drive me to church, but I won't go out of my way to go to church. So I'm not one of those people. But it didn't mean I didn't believe in a supreme being. I did. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, one day I found myself in a spot. Yeah? And the time had run out of me. Honestly, I was, I was in that spot where time had run out of me. I got witnesses. Who can verify that day. I'm telling you, I was gone. I sprang back up to life. And the first thing I said was, I know the meaning of everything. And I run and I start writing. I just started writing. There are times, yeah, over the past few years, where I've looked crazy. Where I've come across crazy. Where I've said crazy things. But, I don't just say them for no reason. I say them because I have an understanding. I've been given understanding. But if I ever believed in a supreme being, then I know that the supreme being has given me, yeah, a job to do for him. Listen, just because the world is not listening, my parents are scared. If the world were listening, or even if the world will say, okay, we're not going to follow his time code or the time code that Naninyami has given him or the Akan time code, but we've listened to it. It's very interesting. And he is right. Strengthening the immune system, using the right methods at the right time, not only would it make you the healthiest, if you want to lose weight, you will lose weight because people do not realize that air is food. And if you eat a good two hours of it at I'm telling you, you won't be struggling. You won't be struggling to cut down. And then when you when you find yourself not struggling and you replace the junk, yeah, with healthy nuts that fill you up and awaken your taste buds and get you ready for a proper meal. And then you find yourself, yeah, growing healthy growing as time intended you to grow giving you two extra pots giving you more listen my parents don't get me and today yeah, they gave up on me completely do you know why? Because I told the truth. But you see, get this. The truth is why Jesus Christ was killed. The truth is why um, Kashuji was chopped up. The truth is why Julian Assange is in trouble. The truth is why um, that lady in America, yeah, she nearly killed herself in prison. Not because of anything. Because she told the truth and she was arrested for it. And these are countries seen to be law-abiding. 
let alone in Ghana. In the search for the truth. To be freely, democratically, Sometimes. speaking the truth. That if the Ghanaians, he too, we see things that they'll realise that I'm not just talking. But she's not a fool. That I do have something. In the past, yeah, that woman has experienced some pain. I didn't just learn this. Just based on this song, because this song. When I learned this thing, art, yeah, I've always said that it's for pregnant. core and immune system strengthening. But when she was singing it, it meant something to her. And then in no time. The arrangement is hers. In no time. This coronavirus came. No one ever taught me this. No one ever taught me this. I, I actually learned this in England. And I wasn't playing this game in England. I played this game when I was young. I woke up one day, I'm telling you, I had the biggest fall ever. My head hit the ground so hard. My friends thought I was dead. I woke up and I said I knew the meaning of everything. I gained a new language. I'll teach you that another time. Language of the assassins. I gained a new understanding. I'm trying to show the world that. And it will save us. It will save us. But the gravity of the understanding I have, I already know, makes me a threat to many. They say the truth hurts. The truth does hurt. The truth hurts those who would lose from the truth coming out. The truth doesn't hurt those who tell it. But if you accept for those who tell the truth to be hurt, then it means you have accepted that the lies rule. Listen, the story of Jesus Christ, yeah, it is, is a contract. You don't understand. There's a contract. Jesus Christ came and he said, I am the truth. Nothing else but the truth. He never raised a weapon. He never, he never hurt anyone. He never did anything wrong. Yeah, he was dragged in the streets as criminals were. He was flogged as criminals were. He was beaten and bled as criminals do. And then... He was crucified, nailed, punctured, murdered. That, that, that death was a death reserved for criminals. That's what the law said. But in the case of Jesus Christ, the law made an exception and considered Jesus Christ's crime to be the telling of the truth. Now, the law was not sure that was going to go down very well. Because it was going to set a precedent. A precedent. And this precedent, if the people, because Jesus Christ was very popular, so says the Bible. So if the people rose up and said, no, you are going against the law, you're sentencing an innocent man to a guilty man's, um, would you call it, a guilty man's punishment. And that goes against the law. They knew they had to avoid that. So what did they do? They gave the choice to the people. They turned it into a circus. Because the people were so tired of the gangsters, of the rapists, of the Finns killing them, and the terrorists, the ISIS, the Boko Haram, the injustice going on. So every now and then the people lavished, yeah, and were happy by seeing some of these criminals that have tormented them put to death. So they made a trial of an innocent person into a circus. And then the priest supported the circus and the people stood there. Jesus Christ said, give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give unto God what belongs to God. He gave the money to the guy and he stood there and offered his life. But the people had a choice. 
the court was making a decision. It was a decision never made openly before. Finding an innocent man guilty, even though the evidence says innocent. So the court left it to the people. The people chose guilty. Why? Because they chose to give him the punishment that the guilty received. But they knew full well he was innocent. You see that day, that's when the powers that be realized that, get this, you guys actually like being ruled by the lies. So they established the lies. And since then, they have killed every truth that has ever popped up. It came out. Yeah, that um, Dr. Carmen Krumah, yeah, was murdered by the CIA. Yeah, it's the truth. He was murdered by the CIA. But Ghanaians failed to see the implications of that. You see, Dr. Carmen Krumah, he was the one who sought, yeah, um, debt from the USA to build the Akosomo Dam. And when he sought the debt, he had his vision to build that debt. And he had his vision to, um, to build Ghana's cocoa and Ghana's this and Ghana's that and Ghana's infrastructure in order for Ghana to cover the debt in no time. So he had every intention of making Ghana the first nuclear nation. Ghana was going to be the first nuclear nation, not in the Western country, in the world to produce nuclear, um, nuclear fusion for generation of electricity he had all this physically drawn out waiting to go they supported it but when they realized they couldn't yeah control him they murdered him but then when they murdered him it made our political establishment and our political system really bad and it meant the debt the debt yeah had you know was still outstanding so they they caused yeah the Akosomo Dam not to be built but yet they still listen we've paid them the debt over and over and over and over now we're still paying interest but they're the ones who took out the guy who planned it you see the implications of this Ghana accrued a debt who um from a master planner but the master planner was assassinated and Ghana accrued the debt from the assassin. And the assassin is still claiming, but the assassin is not paying for the damage the assassin has done to Ghana. Ghanaians are failing to understand. We're suffering because, get this, we do not claim justice. We, we say freedom and justice. But when, when injustice is being done to us, we do not claim. In fact, we pay. We're not free free men shout against injustice free men call for justice free men practice justice free men exercise justice free men are just I don't know what more to say, but I can heal you from Corona's virus if you just listen to me. My name is Kojo. It means I'm the Monday born. If I was a female, I'd be at the water dance of grace. In Hebrew iconology T993, our soul's characteristics is Bajo, the calm and peaceful seed, the calm and peaceful child. Today is Friday. The time is 2.43. AM. It's my daughter's day. If yeah, if it's a boy, it's Kofi. The soul's characteristics is creative, adventurous, and innovative. Creative, adventurous, and innovative. You see Egyptology. You see the name for the word soul. They call it Ra. Ra. So to say the word soul in e Egyptian, ancient e Egypt, you would say Ra, yeah, and it means soul. You see, 
in ancient technology and in present day technology to say the word soul we say okra okra again my people pronounce it very fast so don't understand what they're saying is okra 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 yeah okra what does o mean o mean yo yo ku means fight ku means war ku means fighting ku means warring ra just like the egyptians say means so so okra means your fighting soul your warring soul okra my name is kojo it means i'm a mon i'm a monday born